Good afternoon. It's a cold winter day here in Phoenix and as some of you know I recently upgraded the avionics panel in my 1986 Malibu and several of you had commented asking for a detailed video on that project so since I don't have any major trips planned over this holiday season I thought it might be a good time to talk about it. When I purchased this Malibu back in January of 2016, it had the standard six-pack on both the pilot and co-pilot sides with a Garmin GTN 750 primary and a Garmin GNS 430 Waz as the number two. It also had a JPI EDM 700 uh, engine information system which worked really well. I had the plane painted and much of the interior we'd done eight months after I bought it, so all that was left was the panel. Initially my goal was to simply upgrade the JPI to the newer EDM 930 which would allow me to consolidate uh, seven of my primary instruments into a single device and since I was going to have to cut a new panel in the process I was looking for ways to clean it up even further. The JPI 930 would displace the existing analog TIT temperature gauge as well as fuel flow and manifold pressure, uh, temperature, volts, amps, uh, my fuel gauges, as well as the TAC and existing JPI. But even with that, uh, we were still going to have to shift a few things around to get the 930 to fit. And so I also thought it would be nice to try and do a one-piece panel just to keep it clean and not have any seams. So with a $10,000 budget and an expected downtime of about 60 days, we dropped the plane off in September of 2017. As the old gauges were being removed, I uh, immediately sold them on eBay. And about a month into the project, I started applying logic to the situation. And I thought, since we're having to cut a new panel anyway, why not replace the pilot side gauges with a G500 and um, just mount an iPad or something like that on the co-pilot side. So with a revised budget and a plan to order the G500, uh, I began selling all the pilot and co-pilot side gauges as well, and that's when things started to get a little interesting. Um, right about that time, Garmin announced the G500 TXI as the next generation of the G500 and the 600 family that, that same month, and uh, they had expected deliveries in December. And to make matters worse, they stopped shipping the legacy G500 un units immediately after announcing the TXI, so I was kind of stuck. I could either repurchase all the steam gauges I just sold and scrap the whole G500 idea, or I'd be adding at least 60 days to my downtime waiting for Garmin to ship and hoping that there were no certification setbacks. So after discussing it with my wife and getting her approval for another budget increase, we decided to wait for the new TXI unit to ship and decided to go with a single 10.6-inch uh, landscape unit on the pilot side with a G5 backup and nothing on the co-pilot side. So for anyone that has looked under the glare shield or behind the panel on a Malibu, you know that it literally looks like someone fired a spaghetti gun back there. Uh, there were wire bundles running in all directions, and in my case, I had harnesses from ancient avionics uh, that had been removed and were just left in place and so I decided to use the wait time to literally yank all that wiring out from the firewall to the uh, avionics rack in the tail and get rid of all the excess as well as consolidate with newer and more efficient wiring. So we did a test fit of the newly cut panel and after making a few adjustments got it set up on a jig uh, to begin installing the gauges and building wiring bundles. And as I stared at the panel in the jig, it just looked out of balance to me. I didn't, uh, it didn't take me long to realize that with this configuration, I would be denying my wife the satisfaction of having her own TXI display on the co-pilot side. So all along, I'd planned to do some kind of iPad mount on that side. But when I learned from Garmin uh, that it was possible to have a second display share the same AHAR source with the primary, I realized that for just a few dollars more, I could add the second TXI display. Since my AHARS unit is integrated to the back of the primary uh, Garmin TXI display, the co-pilot 
unit simply shares data from the primary and therefore cannot be used as a backup in any way. So for that, I had to go with the STC approved mid-continent SAM unit. Well, December had come and gone with no shipments and no dependable dates from Garmin. So we ordered the second TSI display in January, uh, this last January, hoping that it would ship reasonably close to the first, which had been ordered three months earlier. So as you can see here, the harnesses all tie into a quick disconnect block with everything that comes from the rear of the plane. This makes it real simple to remove the avionics and even the harness if necessary. The shop did talk me into replacing the old GNS 430 WAS unit with a uh, newer GTN 650 and I'm glad I did. As you can see we consolidated most of the rocker switches to the lower left but we left the icing section uh, right where it was originally. I couldn't be happier with the powder coat and screen print quality. Here's the end result of the wire cleanup behind the panel. And as you can see uh, by the before and after pictures, there's a striking difference between the two. We ended up removing a bit over 70 pounds of excess wiring and connectors that were left over from items that had been removed previously. Here's the other side of the quick disconnect I had mentioned uh, a little bit ago. These two bundles that run to the aft are about the size of a silver dollar and they're less than half the, uh, the width or circumference of what used to be there. A custom rack was made to hold the remote transponder and GDL69A satellite receiver in the back. All in all, I was down for seven months and spent ten times my original budget. I had to really turn up the heat with the shop in order to get the project finished by the end of April as my family and I had a trip to Texas planned and by that time uh, I was ready to be done. So for any of you that may be considering an avionics project like this, I, I learned a few key things along the way that uh, I'd like to share with you. The first is never ever begin a project like this unless the items that you're installing are readily available or on the shelf. The second is never pay in advance. I thought that by prepaying for all of the avionics that would be enough incentive for the shop to keep progress going on my plane while we waited for the back ordered items and in my case that strategy completely failed. They took the money and set me aside for other quick revenue jobs. Lastly, I uh, have a clearly agreed upon scope and not to exceed price in advance. In speaking with other Malibu pilots who have done similar upgrades uh, subsequent to mine, I estimate that I probably overpaid by fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. And uh, Garmin delays aside, this project took a month longer than it really needed to. So, having said all that, uh, I'm extremely happy with the quality of the work that was done. The TXI, in my opinion, is more capable and intuitive than even the much more expensive G1000 systems. I'm purposely not naming the shop that did my install because it's not my intention to drag them through the mud or for obvious reasons uh, is it my intention to promote them. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Have a Merry Christmas and thanks for watching.